what is I, so Devin and Fang, and welcome back to a rad review. Uh, today I'm just showing you a bit of my birthday haul that I had. Uh, so first up, I have a face covering. Uh, the reason I brought it, I think it brings out a bit of my Bullet Club character, my wrestling character. But it also looks cool as well, and it looks like it would have something, it would be something you'd see out of a sci-fi movie. And, um, I just thought it would look like cool on me. I know it looks scary, but, um, I'm, but it kind of looks like something that you'd see at a wrestling show. And I wanted to bring a bit of the Devin Kilgore character. Uh, that reflects on me, so I'm not I'm not going to be in kayfabe when you see me out in the streets wearing it. Don't worry. Uh, next up, we have a Panama hat. Now, the reason I brought a Panama hat is because the other one uh, wasn't uh, in the best way, so I decided to ask someone for another one. Then I got Miriam Margulies. Um I love Miriam Margulies. She's a brilliant person. She's 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 hilarious sometimes, uh, especially when she uh, says a few naughty words. You can't help but laugh when she swears. <laughs> But I think she's a wonderful person. Um, yeah. Next one is the Guinness World Records. Uh, the only reason I brought this was to see if they put uh, CM Punk's return to wrestling in it. They have a whole section about WWE, so there's loyalty. Uh, but we don't talk about WWE because I hate WWE now. Uh, let's talk about the superior promotion, New Japan. Uh, so I had the Wrestle Kingdom 9 DVD. I thought because I haven't seen, I can't watch New Japan. So I decided to buy a DVD of one of its Wrestle Kingdoms. And it is better than WrestleMania by far. So... I'll just put it there so it's in front of the camera. So, um, I think my favourite matches in it was Okada versus Tanahashi. Although it was about 30 minutes, it just shows all the... And I love... What I like about New Japan is the reversal and the excitement. Like, you never get a dull moment in New Japan. I think it was weird seeing Jeff Jarrett in the Bullet Club. And when he accidentally hit Yujiro Takahashi with his guitar, I immediately thought of New Jack. Um, another match I enjoy... It, it's actually weird seeing Lance Archer as well. In a... Um... Without, uh... His plaits in his hair. So obviously now he's in AW, and then Shinsuke as well. And I like uh, Murko, no Muro Ronaldo, I think, whoever it was on commentary. He's very, he's very entertaining and excitable, and he doesn't make it sound boring. He makes it sound exciting. Another match I enjoyed was. Let me just find the. Names um, for the was it the Never Open Weight Championship match that I also liked? Rizutsuki Tag to go, no, no, that was the IWGP Junior Heavyweight. I enjoyed that as well. I like Kenny Omega. Um, I'm just trying to find it now. Um, Oh, to Togi Macab was it? The, the and 
Tomohiro Ishii for the uh, I don't never open weight championship. I think so. It was a it was a shame to see uh, that we didn't get to see Tama Tonga wrestle because he's my favourite member of the Bullet Club. Uh, AJ as well, I enjoyed his match. It's obvious. It I think it was quite weird when uh, he said um, when he when he said I'm the best wrestler in today's professional wrestling in the post match interview. See, that's what I like about New Japan. They have a post-match interview and the wrestlers can say what the hell they like. Like, that's what I like about improvising. You just say it and it's not scripted. Um, it, was, it was a shame to see Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson lose the tag team championships. Because I like the Good Brothers. Well, I, I did before they joined uh, Kenny Omega's Elite. So, that was... Uh, my birthday haul. Um, I had a brilliant day, I uploaded, no I didn't upload a wrestling, oh no I did upload a thank you video on my channel, uh, and yeah, so it's the watching this video and I'll see you on the next one, so goodbye and good night.